All right. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, it's Mr. Pugil, your favorite science teacher. Um, I'm just getting going right here. And what I want to do is I wanted to uh, show you the, what we're going to do today. It's on the lab equipment. All right. And so what you're going to do is I'm going to share my screen so you can see what I'm looking at. All right. And you see that right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a link for this that says lab safety. You're going to take that link here and click on it. All right. It's going to just read what's being said here. All right. And then you're going to go over here to where it says learn. You can either look at it in the little slide presentation or you can look at it in the equipment presentation here. I'd rather do it this way here. And what you're going to do is that there's, um, you're going to do all these things and you're going to list them, list their name, the number they are, uh, what they do, and draw a, a short picture. All right. And so I'm going to demonstrate this right now and so that you can see it right now. Okay. All right. All right. And so I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to go back over here. All right. All right, so our first item of business was our, we're going to draw a table here. And this is called lab equipment. So I'm gonna write that at the top, lab equipment. Now you're gonna put this in your notebook in a place that um, that um, excuse me that you see you know putting your table of contents whatever the next page in your table of contents after the review sheet you're going to put it there all right and so uh, you're going to write number and again the page numbers don't bother me so much all right so we're going to do number item all right. Uh, and I'm sorry for the, I know it's a little, um, a little bit uh, the lines. I'm having to sit in an awkward position to make this right. All right. And then I'm going to have one, we'll make the last column, and that's going to be for drawing. Okay. All right. And the first item was a balance. All right, well, what was the use of it? Let's go back and look real quick. Let's look at the use. All right, share the screen, let's look at that. All right, balance as an instrument determine weight and mass. Okay, now I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna stop my share and... It is used to determine to that's an R determine weight and mass. And I'm gonna draw it. Now again, I'm not as you if you know anything about me, you're gonna know that I'm not the I'm not a good drawer. But you can, uh, you'll see what I'm trying to do right here. I'm going to, I'm going to do like a, a 15 to 20 second sh um, sketch. I'm not a good drawer by no means, but you, and I want to see you draw one that's about 15 to 20 second sketch here also. I don't want it just like, looks like junk. If you do junk, I give you a junk grade. But I don't want you spend. I don't want a piece of artwork where you spent like a minute to two minutes or three minutes to do it. I don't want that. I want a 15 to 20 second, 30 second drawing and then move on to the next one. Then we're going to do our next one. And so I'm going to share my screen again. All right. My beaker used to hold liquids. All right. So. 
And so let me draw do number two, a beaker. I uh, used to hold liquids and, and measure volume. You could actually use it to measure volume of liquids and, and granulated solids. And, uh, and so I'm gonna draw me a little beaker. And again, as you, I already told you, I'm not a good drawer, but I can, I take a second and I do. All right, and so there's my beaker, all right? And so you're kind of getting an idea of what these things look like. And so I'm gonna darken this one because you can't see it too well. All right, and that's not, again, I'm not a good drawer, but you're gonna do all those items that are on that list. Now there's about, there's about seven to eight or nine that I'm gonna omit that you don't have to do because they're not really necessary. But I want you to do all the items on the list and this is gonna be multiple pages. Again, this should go after the review sheet that you did for the test and that type of deal. All right, this will be a large participation grade for 12 points. But before you do any of these, I want you to look at them all, read them, look at the pictures, see what they're used for. I don't want you to just get done. I want you to learn them, all right? And if you're not learning them, you're wasting your time. So learn them and then draw the picture. And that's what you're trying to do right here. All right, uh, get that done and turn it in, take a picture and turn it in to me and take a picture and send it back to me. All right, all right, have a good day.